Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back from vacation. <sighs> Whew, how are you guys doing? Everything good? Oh wow. I just came back from vacation. It was a good time. I spent two weeks away from work, away from everything. I went to Miami for Christmas and I went to Jamaica for New Year's and it was a grand old time. And I filmed a video before I left showing you guys what I packed makeup wise for my travel, what I overpacked anyway. And I asked you guys in that video if you wanted to see one, the other things that I packed, so like skincare and body care items, as well as do you guys wanna see what I actually use? Cause we definitely, definitely check that video out. I will leave a link over here. I definitely have lipstick on my teeth, good, yeah. Isn't this color pretty though? Look at this color. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm doing the most right now, but look at, oh, shut your mouth. This is so pretty. This is from Kaleidos Makeup. So they released lip products and they sent them to me and I wasn't too thrilled with the liquid lipsticks because they aren't traditional liquid lipsticks. They're a little bit more watery, kind of like a lip stain. And then they're releasing these two shades. They're more pigmented and I was like, all right, let's check them out. So these are their lip tonics and the two shades that they're releasing, it's not limited edition, these are permanent shades. So the matte shade is Ambition. So that's the matte red and I have that under here and then I topped it with Collision which is the shimmery metallic red and I don't even love metallic reds but this is giving me all the life right now. And these are permanent so you can check these out. I will leave them linked below. Not sponsored but they sent those to me and I just think it looks really pretty especially with my shirt. I'm doing all the red. Even my watch is red. Oh my god. So I bought this watch. Yeah, I'm filling you guys in. I bought this watch as a set from Macy's. It's from the brand Skagen. Skagen. It's S-K-G-E-N and it's a Denmark brand and they have like a rainbow collection. So I got this on sale, I got five colors. This yellow is giving me all the feels, but I have the red one on and then I have another one, it's blue. So love, love, love that. I will link it, it yeah, it's at Macy's, so I will link it down below. They also sell them individually. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the additional skincare and body care products that I brought along for my trip. And in my previous video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see the products that I actually use because we know I overpacked yes you don't have to tell me we both know we're here okay we know I overpacked so I wanted to show you guys what I actually use so I'll do that in a separate video just to make sure that this video isn't too long so you will see that coming up as well to show you what I actually used um, makeup wise but I will also talk through the products that I actually used in this video as well in that video so stay tuned for that as well and then I actually have an upcoming trip for my birthday so I am going to Cancun Mexico and that one is I believe four days it's a four day trip uh, maybe five days four or five days one of them but I don't need as much and I kind of learned from this trip what not to pack and I am literally going to just relax so I don't have to pack makeup for like New Year's and fancy events or anything so I'm definitely packing a lot less for that um, trip if you want to see what I actually packed for that trip as well let me know if you guys are interested, even though I just did like a get pack with me. I don't know, let me know. I will leave a poll here again so you can let me know if you wanna see what I packed. Anyway, let's jump into the additional things that I packed. So, the first thing, the biggest thing is this hair. This is my Glamcore Lighted Mirror. And you know when you travel, you never know what the lighting's gonna be like in a hotel room or if you stay at an Airbnb, you never know what the lighting's gonna be, right? So I bring my own. So this, again, is from Glamcore. Woo! You guys are seeing all my stuff back here. So the mirror right here, this is from Simple Human. This is what I use for everyday makeup. And then the one that you can see in the back reflected, this is the, that is the bigger version of this one here. So yeah, you get where I'm going with this, right? So I brought this mirror with me, right? And I'm gonna blind you guys right now. Are you ready to see how bright this is? So it has different levels of brightness and you can really turn this up. Can you see how bright that is? 
Holy crap, so it's really illuminating my face right now. So I use this guy when I travel for my makeup application and it has a little stand as well. And they just released this case here, which is a padded case that keeps it nice and secure. So I actually just tossed this in my hand luggage and I went with it. So that guy was added in as well. Now let's jump into the skincare products. So I have little organizer storage travel bags that I put in my suitcase so I have carry-on and checked luggage depending on how long the trip is this time I had carry-on and checked luggage so I put these in my checked luggage just because I didn't want to be bothered with carrying all these things in my carry-on but you can definitely still put these in your carry-on depending on the size of the products you're bringing these divider bags you can get them pretty much anywhere you can get them at home goods Target Walmart Ulta has some just get the best deal for you and the best sizes for you. So this particular Claire one is from Sonia Kashuk and I found this at Target. It was actually on clearance, so I got this for $5. So this is easy to just toss skincare products in and it's easy to see what's in here. So in here, I have a couple of my skincare products and I have other bags with skincare products in there as well, but I'll show you this one first. I have in here a travel size of my Clean B Facial Cleanser from Pharmacy. I love this cleanser so much. And I actually got this size in one of their kits that they sell on their website. And it contains 3.4 fluid ounces, which is perfect for carry-on luggage because that is the limit, 3.4 ounces. So this was perfect. This was my cleanser that I used um, to wash my face, to wash off my makeup, all that good stuff. And in here I also have my nighttime routine. So I have my Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is for daily exfoliation, for clarifying the skin. So I have this little mini size. This is 0.27 ounces. I think I got this in a two-piece set as well with this cleanser, the Ceramic Slip Cleanser. So I brought both of them along. You never know when you wanna switch up your cleanser. Sometimes you're just like, oh, I just want another cleanser. And so I brought the Ceramic Slip as well. And I got this as a duo at Sephora. They had the kit on sale. And this was perfect for travel. And the ceramic slip is one fluid ounce. So if I was just doing like a two or three day trip, I could just go with these two. Something to keep in mind. And I also have like a 100 point perk of the good jeans. This is overkill because I didn't need to bring both of them. But this one I tossed in because I was tossing in the second one, which is the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum from Sunday Rally. I got these as 100 point perks from Sephora. This is a good way to get travel size skincare too. So I tossed them in just because I had room, not because I needed them, because this would have been fine on its own. For moisturizer, I tossed in my La Mer, the oil absorbent lotion. This was to keep myself nice and matte when I was out and about during the day because it's hot, it's sunny, I need to be matte child. So I brought this as well. So I have these in this little zip up container. And then I have a second one of these with more skincare in it. And I think I can downsize to just one of these for my upcoming trip. Cause I don't need to have duplicates of products. Like I don't need to travel with all of these. Like let's be real. So in here, I have another cleanser. This is from Origins. It's the Check and Balances Frothy Face Wash. This one is one fluid ounce. Again, I got this in a set. Someone actually gave this to me for Christmas. They got it from somebody else and they were like, I don't use this stuff so you can have it, Tina. And I'm like, ha! Ah! Thank you so much, because this was so perfect for travel. So I was just testing these out, which is why I wasn't relying on this as my cleanser. I don't know how it was gonna work. And I must say, I fell in love with this. So either this or the Clean Bee will be the one that I bring on my trip with me. And I also brought with me their overnight mask to quench skin's thirst. And I love an overnight mask, okay? And this was perfect. So I had this to toss in my bag and I applied this after I do all the other skincare, which was really just the retinoid and the good jeans, if I'm honest. And then I will put this on top just to have my skin rest and relax and do all the good stuff that it needed to do after a very hectic day out in the sun and just doing the most, okay? So I had this and I'm glad that I got this collection. The other thing that I had in the set was this Modern Friction Cleansing Oil with Radiance Boosting White and Purple Rice. This is one fluid ounce as well. 
I fell in love with this so I used this as my cleansing oil to remove makeup before I actually did my second cleanser which is the frothy cleanser oh my god this was so good and again I was trying out these products because I got them for Christmas and I was like oh let me see how they are this is so good guys I love this so it's I guess it's supposed to be a dual phase maybe multiple phase and you shake it up and it removes makeup so well it's a thicker oil so it's not runny it's not going everywhere you get some of this rub all over your face it removes sunscreen long wearing makeup all that stuff so I absolutely absolutely love 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 this the other product from the set is the origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer this guy so good as well and I love that I had it in this size so I'm thinking maybe I can just bring this set I love how lightweight this is it's a gel moisturizer so I use this at night when I was going out and I just needed to moisturize my skin quickly I didn't need SPF or anything this was so good I didn't need to necessarily be mattified either because I was putting on makeup and stuff so this love it so much speaking of SPF I brought my Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Photo Brightening Moisturizer Broad Spectrum 30. So this is what I used over my skin when I went out during the day, when I went to the beach. This I needed for SPF, of course. So that's what I used. I also went ahead and brought these two products from Derma E. I didn't end up using them, but I had them just in case I wanted to use them. So this is the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. It has activated charcoal. And this is to help exfoliate impurities, giving you a fresh, healthy radiance to the skin. Now, I didn't feel the need to use this. I brought this because with SPF, sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of a physical exfoliant just to get some of that goop and gawk out of my skin. And I didn't feel like I needed this, but I had it just in case because I knew the SPF was going to be layered on on the regular and I needed something in case my skin needed a little pep so I brought this as well and in addition to that I have the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum I love a vitamin C serum and Derma E sent this to me along with the scrub and I said let me take this along and use this as my vitamin C serum in my daily skincare routine and see how it works and it's actually pretty decent I don't know about the potency of this but for what it's worth it was a comfortable nice serum to just apply it's lightweight it says it's hundred percent vegan and cruelty free and I enjoyed it so it's not necessarily something that I have really tested out and know too much about but for what it's worth it was a good little um, serum to have I also brought along the green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm from pharmacy and this guy this is what I got in the set with the um, the clean bee cleanser I brought this guy to remove my makeup at the end of the night because I knew I was gonna have those special occasion nights where I packed the makeup on and I needed something to remove that before I cleansed my skin I wanted to make sure I got all the makeup off all the SPF all of that right I didn't even end up using this I used this oil instead and this worked a lot better for me I didn't use up as much product and it still removed the product product as efficiently as this does because this is great I'm not saying that this is not a good product but I got to save this because I find that I go through this far quicker than I would like given the price of this so I prefer a cleansing oil and this guy even though I was just testing it out because I wasn't sure right I wasn't gonna rely on this if I wasn't sure what it was gonna do it did the job it was great loved it so I didn't even use this and I'm not gonna bring it on my next trip now I'll quickly just go ahead and mention these items that I brought for my hair because why not right so I have this travel kit with the different size these are 3.4 ounce containers so you can put different products in here and they come with labels I found this at home goods actually so you can find this anywhere I think Target has a set from Sonia Kashuk they also have them in like the travel section so you can go many places to find this kind of set with the different empty bottles and you put your own products in there so I brought this liquid gel that I use in my hair when it's wet because I knew my hair was going to get wet, right? So I was going to wear it curly. So I brought this liquid gel and I used up a decent amount of it. I also brought a regular hair gel that I used to smooth out frizzies. I also brought a leave-in conditioner 
I used the majority of that guy as you can see. I used like a creamy styling product. I have conditioner labeled on this but it's just a creamy moisturizer that I brought. And then the other thing is a gel booster. So it's actually in a clear gel form, but it's actually meant to help with creating curls and stuff. So I brought that as well. And then I filled up the little spray bottle in the kit with alcohol because I find myself using alcohol almost daily. I use it routinely. I use this primarily for jewelry because I use a lot of fashion jewelry, okay? So they're not like 100% gold and I, listen, I I don't have time to be buying gold jewelry with the amount of earrings that I go through so they're not necessarily the most hyperallergenic so they can cause irritation to my piercings so I go ahead and spray them with my alcohol and I also ended up using this for my nose piercing because I didn't bring my piercing solution and this guy got a little bit infected it was like oh child what so I had to use this for that and then if I got a scratch or a scrape, I would use this as well. So I do bring alcohol and I think it is pretty handy, believe it or not. And since I'm doing that, let's go ahead and run through the other products that I brought in these travel bags. I got these bags, I believe, from the container store. Is that where I got them from? You can pretty much find these anywhere. There's so many different options these days that you're bound to find like travel bags like this. I know they have them at Target, but they're a little pricey at Target. So in here, I have like my essentials. So I have my lotion. This is from Nivea. This is the Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. This gives your skin such a beautiful glow and my skin was glowing in the sunshine. I love this for all over my body, for my legs, for my decollete. I was shining and glowing child so I love this lotion. And this one I had to put in my checked luggage because this is 6.8 fluid ounces. But you can go ahead and just transfer some of this into one of the travel containers if you were gonna take this in your um, carry-on luggage. I also have my deodorant so I have the Dove Advanced Care Invisible Share Fresh. This says no white marks on a hundred colors. I use Dove because my underarms they need something. I can't use natural deodorant because girl ooh, I used to use my degree like ultra strength like yo because my underarms not pleasant at all but I find that this works really well and it doesn't irritate my underarm skin as much as the degree was starting to like I was getting like eczema under my arms and that wasn't cute the dove works really well I still get a little funky but you know it is what it is I can't use natural deodorant because whoo my body is like no 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 that's not gonna work I don't know what to tell you but you need al aluminum okay so Sorry about it. I also brought my shave gel from Skin to Met. This is in a travel size, so this is 2.7 ounces. You can find that in the travel section. That was really good. For my body wash, I just have my Clean On Me from Soap and Glory transferred into one of these containers. And then for my shampoo and conditioner, so I have from Pavana Intense Therapy Cleanse, Nourish, and Treat. This is the set that I went to pick up from Ulta in my last car chat video. I also have my razor. So this is from Gillette, it's the Venus, and I use the Comfort Glide um, top hair, and I keep it in the little, I don't know, this is how I travel with it, just let me have things, okay? Toothbrush, of course, I have this charcoal toothbrush that I brought from Oral-B with my little, you know, my little protector here. I also have my toothpaste. My travel toothpaste, this is the Colgate Total. This is what I use whitening. And I have a little mouthwash from Crest. It's Scope. And I have my hair oil. This is the Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture Scent and Shine Coconut Oil. This was great for my hair. So that's what I brought. I also brought like a actual soap for washing my body because like I said my underarms don't know to behave and I was in warm climate and I don't know how to act. So I have to bring an actual bar of soap for under my arms. Yes I know. I bring Coast or like Irish Spring because um, I need a lot of help <laughs> under my arms. So that's why I bring a little soap dish with my soap. And then last I have this other bag. So same style bag but I have other products in here 
So here I have my perfumes. I have the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. And this size, I believe, is the 3... No, this is 1.7 ounces, right? Yeah, for my everyday perfume. And I have my Gucci Rush. This is also 1.7. No, this is 1 fluid ounce. This is my sexy nighttime, like, I'm going out. I'm out and about fragrance. It really gives a sexy smell. And then I have my Atelier Cologne. This is in Vanilla Incense. Who love that. So those are the three fragrances I brought. I also brought an edge control product. This is from Style Factor. It's the edge booster and the one that I use is the Extra Shine. This one doesn't have a scent because the ones that have a scent, I just I can't get over the scents at all. I have painkillers, Excedrin, Extra Strength is what I use because that's the only thing that can get rid of headaches just in case I get a headache because girl, listen. I also have um, travel size floss. This is, I don't remember what brand this is, Listerine. So they have like the little extender that you put these on. I just brought these like they are and I just use them to floss my teeth because I ain't got time for anything else, child. I brought a little bit of a first aid kit here from Johnson & Johnson. So we have band-aids, um, cleansing wipes, just in case, you know, I got injured because you never know with me and my clumsy stuff. So I brought those. And then I also brought a lint roller because... We don't like to be linty. And I also brought makeup wipes. These are the makeup remover cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena. So I brought two packs again, just to help with makeup removal. You never know when you're gonna need those. And then for my sunscreen, I actually use one from Neutrogena, but I completely used that up, so I don't have it in my luggage right now. So I have to get another one because again, going on a second trip. So there you have it guys. Those are all the additional products that I packed for skincare and body care. And just remember the sizing is gonna affect whether or not you have to put these in your checked luggage or your carry-on luggage. So now when I go on this second trip, I only have carry-on luggage. So I'm gonna have to be careful about the sizing of these different products and only bring the things that I definitely need because we have limited space at this point. So again, if you want to see what I'm definitely packing for that trip then let me know and I can go ahead and do that as well to give you a more realistic idea of packing for a much shorter trip so like I said this was two weeks I was out and about I needed like I wanted to have everything available but for a four day or five day trip you don't need as much or even want to bring as much. So let me know if you want to see that video. I will go ahead and maybe try to list the products down below. And this can maybe even help you to pack for your own travels. Maybe you're not sure what to take along, what things you might need, and this can give you a better idea of products to consider bringing. You don't need to take all of this because like I said, I overpacked for this trip because I was fully prepared, but this gives you an idea, a general synopsis of all the products you might need and stuff, right? So I'm going to go ahead and link my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You can follow me along there. And I will also link the products that I am wearing on my face because there is a get ready with me for mainly the eyes. The lips I changed up to do this video because it's a sneaky, sneaky YouTuber trick to pretend that I filmed this on different days, which I absolutely did not. So I will also link this video and the lip product again down below in the description box. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.